Varsity Club, welcome back to the class. And look, the Kodiaks have been cooking. Right now, we're the third ranked team in the entire NBA from a power ranking standpoint. And as we grind down the last couple of games of the regular season, we're putting ourselves in a really good spot to make sure that we're set up for success. We had a lot of injuries last year, and look, Bobo is really the only guy injured at the moment. But if we can get him healthy, keep the rest of our roster healthy at the same time, I like how we're cooking. All right, look, we're not, again, 100% you know full strength but this is going to be a really good test we are the number three team from power ranking standpoint in the nba the spurs the number five team they got murray they got Giannis. they got gobert i mean they have an incredibly talented roster lonnie walker devin vassell i mean you name them they pretty much still have all those guys out there so we're we'll seeing what we can do here von diggins playing pretty good defense trying to lock up walker great contest on that one but they get the rebound with Giannis. kick it out to wide open murray He's not going to miss from there. Not kind of our favorite jerseys we have right now. I think for the playoffs, we might actually bring Bruh. out. Uh, OK, hopefully not turning the ball over like that. But I think in the playoffs, we might bring out maybe a nice red alternate jersey. I'm still figuring it out. Gave up that early bucket, but we're doing OK right now. 12 to 11 ball game. RJ getting the offense going. Cam checking him a little bit. We're actually going to get a screen for Cam here on the high side. Leave that man open. He's probably going to catch that. But that was my fault on the release. In transition again. Pam goes for the foul. Trey Jones in the game is our starting point guard. Ooh, cash just came wide open. Cash money. You already know. Solid little lead here against San Antonio. A lot of subs in the game at the moment. Stan Warren. Cash just came. We got Mr. Dwight Powell himself. DeAnthony Melton's in the game too. So again, a solid mix up from our roster. Otto Porter. Take that charge. That's why we traded you. A little screen game going here with Dwight Powell and Trey Jones. We're gonna throw the alley. You've been Dwight Powell. There's no Dwight Powell slander. Things a little bit more interesting here in the second quarter. San Antonio only down a single point. Most of the starters back in the game for both teams. Our big thing right now against San Antonio is they got a lot of guys that can shoot the three. They also have dudes that can kill it inside too. And you can see Giannis posting up here. Jaron Jackson Jr. guarding him. I kind of like that matchup for the most part. Jackson playing great D to kick it out here to Walker. We whiff pretty hard with Vaughn. He's going to miss on that shot even worse. So we're going to see if we can push the tempo a little bit. Yeah, Cassius Kane out here in the perimeter. Cassius Kane. Okay, that spin move wasn't exactly what we were looking for. RJ back up top. Needs to slow down a little bit. We're going to throw it up. And okay, we forgot Rudy Gobert's in the game. <sighs> you know, he's my twin. He's not going to allow anything bad there. Out of the corner of cell. Oh, they throw an alley open. The heck just happened. So things were going good. Giannis just caught a quadruple alley-oop. I don't even know what the heck that was. His man went for a windmill. We blocked it, and somehow he got it back and then put it in the hoop. After that, it's been kind of tough for us right now. We're not doing quite as well as you might hope we would be doing. And I don't know what Jared Jackson Jr. is doing, but he's playing like some bonus right now. We went on a heck of an offensive drought right now. No one's really scoring. Not getting any rebounds. Kind of missed Bo Bo a little bit from just helping out on defense somewhat. Jackson... Okay, there we go. Get Giannis in foul trouble. It's only his first foul, but Jackson actually has zero points tonight. I need the big fella to get some free throws right here, right now. First one. No one saw that. Okay, second one. Everyone saw that one. Thank you. He's on the board. Let's get some more. Cam Reddish, only six points for him. Again, offensively, I think our whole team's just kind of struggling at the moment. Gray Jones, great defense. Wolf's going to throw one up. That's going to rim out. Jackson, though, does get himself a rebound. He's done that pretty well tonight. A known running point guard a little bit. Double screen here for him. Can't let him go. Okay, no one. That was a pass. We desperately need some points at the end of this half. Jaron Jackson Jr. Let the big fella stretch it one time. Okay, Jackson's going to back down whoever this tiny human being is. I like our chances. Expose him. Getting to the free throw line is fine here. I'm okay with that. In the first half here, we had a good lead, and then it just went downhill. A lot of our main starters aren't really doing their job. Bond's got to get going. RJ's got to get going. Dwight Powell's playing good defense. I'm okay with that foul, but our team is playing terrible right now. Picking up here in the third quarter, it is a uh, messy beginning for us right now. No one's really happy with how this is going. RJ Hampton, though, pulling out here in the perimeter. Wide open spaces. Too much room. RJ's got eight and four. Gets it out here to Vaughn. Vaughn only has seven so far tonight. He's going to drive in. 
and do what he does best. The poster child with the big move on Lonnie Walker. It may be Rudy Gobert. Walker bound the perimeter. You know he wants to do something here. Aaron Jackson's on Giannis. Giannis has actually went off today. He's got 16, I think, so far. Getting a rebound, pushing the tempo. Vaughn ends up losing it. Gobert picks it up of all people. You've got to be kidding me. What are we doing here? Offensively, defensively. Okay, at least we didn't miss a dunk like that. What is happening with our squad? Two of the best teams in the NBA, but playing like two of the worst. Cash is Kane. He's got Gobert on him. Want to get a screen. Hopefully they don't switch off of that properly. Obi, that's all you big fella. Easy money all day. Easy. 15 for top, and he's been so good for starting. We're trying our best to just respond back and do something against the Spurs, but they're keeping a pretty big lead. They're holding a 10-point lead even after that bucket. That's just Kane. Some solid moves by the young fella. Look, we need to get to the free throw line more. If there's one thing we could do against San Antonio right now, it is get to the free throw line, knock down our free throws, and get them in foul trouble. Right now, they've barely committed any fouls. Probably some home court cooking, in my opinion. That's Cassius Kane misses that first one. Second one here for Kane. A lot better result. Third quarter's winding down. Not a lot of time left. Walker's trying to do something here. Porter comes back up top. They've been setting a lot of screens. Look at Dwight Powell. No Dwight Powell slander. Great defensive effort there. Again, 10-point lead. We're trying to cut it in the single digits. We want to go in the fourth quarter with a single-digit deficit. That will be huge. We'll be top and go up, big fella. That and go in. Okay. Four fouls on Otto Porter. Otto Porter's not a starter for them, but he is one of their guys to back up Giannis. So that means that Giannis maybe gets a little bit more tired in the fourth quarter if we get Otto Porter. A couple more fouls here. Second one for our guy Obi. He chokes in the second one, but at least he got one or two. Oh, nice steal. Okay, you're kidding me. Porter got that one back. And we got Melton for a reason. Great perimeter defender. We got mismatches all over the place right now. Solid defense. He's going to miss that at the buzzer. So going into the fourth quarter, cut it down to nine points. That's not good enough, but it's a start. In the fourth quarter, things are so tough. We got five minutes left. A 13-point deficit. Jaron Jackson Jr. is having a terrible game. In his defense, he's going up against both Giannis and Rudy Gobert in the paint. So that's never going to be an easy one. But good Lord, was I expecting more than this. RJ doing his best, but again, they switch Giannis off onto him. Looking for that screen again, trying to get some sort of mismatch. RJ goes in. There we go. 10 points for him on the night. On Diggins with 13. Haven't really seen any blowout performances by him so far. Going right down to Giannis. Giannis is going to throw up a quick shot and misses an absolute bunny on that one. RJ kicks it out here to Vaughn. On fakes, taking the screen. He's going to drive in. That's an A1 potential. It's not going to drop, but it's the second foul on Kelton Johnson. Again, the Spurs are loaded. The sheer talent they have on the, their roster. Bench depth is unbelievable. One of the deepest teams in the entire NBA. Vaughn, he's a knockdown, too. It's been a while since so we've seen two free throws go down. And the pain from the line continues to happen. Second one, though, good to go, but we've got to start hitting more free throws if we want to come back. Cash is game playing great defense on Otto Porter. And reason number 7,004 where we traded that man. Hampton trying to drive a little bit. Thank you. And then Otto Porter reminds us that old man can get a couple of steals here and there. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Not how we drew it up, but I'll take it. In the ball to Hampton. Von Diggins pulling up a contested three. No dice. Oh, look at Jaron Jackson Jr. An accidental steal. We'll take it. Vaughn needs Jaron to cut so bad. Bruh. It's been like this all night. The struggle is real. We're trying. I think we're losing. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. It's a four-point game all of a sudden. Our team has somehow willed their way back. I thought it was about to be Ripperoni Pepperoni. We're going to let Vaughn Diggins go in and get the M1. I'm here for this right now. With under a minute left. Some big plays happening. Now, I don't know why. Okay, we're subbing a lot of our starters back in the game. This is good. Mel's coming in to help out on defense as well. Hurst coming out of the game now. RJ Hampton back in. I need Vaughn to hit a free throw. He does. Okay. 
Those early free throw struggles we had are definitely coming back to bite us a little bit, but this is big. One point game. Giannis. Probably gonna need a three at some point. Giannis is 21, shooting 45% from the night. It's been a good game for him. Vaughn. Oh, you gotta love it. And ones are gonna be huge. We need an and one from him. Lonnie Walker has not had a single foul committed until the last little bit of the fourth quarter. Vaughn, big time players making big time plays. Gotta love how he's showing up clutch right now. This is huge. He didn't hit the second one here. Gotta play great defense after. Okay, that's again, not ideal. We're letting the honest run free. We have no one guarding Lonnie Walker. Play good D. Play Giannis, though, a prayer. That's a prayer. Okay, we got to get the rebound, fellas. Okay, if you're going to foul someone, foul Hassan Whiteside. Jaron Jackson just fouled out. Jeez, I believe Dwight Powell's going to come in and replace him right now. No shot, he makes both. He may not even make one. He missed both. This is incredible. Okay. Cam Reddish in the game. This is big. driving in oh my god big foul okay i would have loved to get an am one here but now we got to make both free throws there's a little bit of time left only one time out coach is not happy right now all right cam come on we need these free throws oh cash money look how oh th these should be easy these should be easy i doubt we missed both here should be able to hit both here cam again dapping them up cash money Spurs is their last time out. Tie ball game. 12 seconds left. It's going to get crazy. All right. Giannis back in the game. White sides in the game as well. Obi Toppin has been the player of the game. 19 for him on 6 for 9 shooting. He's been really good on the defensive end, too. We got to give him a lot of props there. It's big. Keep it out of Giannis' hands. Oh, we went for the double steal. It wasn't going to work. Kane's having to guard Giannis. Let that man shoot. Great defense by Kane. He's all up in Giannis's grill. Cassius Kane, the rookie. He's going to send us into overtime, but Cassius Kane, the rookie. So Giannis, not here. At least not now. If you want to be one of the best teams in the NBA, you've got to win close games. This is a playoff type atmosphere right now. I'm assuming Rudy Gobert is fouled out. We haven't seen Gobert in the game for a while now. Oh, that's a heavy screen. No shot. Giannis is hitting the three. I was wrong. Diggins running point guard a lot for the squad at the moment. The screen. Again, fouls on the big fella. We need this right now. You get Hassan Whiteside fouled out? I don't know who they have at center after him. It's going to be slim pickings for them. They need both from Vaughn. He struggled from the line. He gets one there. Okay, Gobert is coming back in the game. I don't know where Rudy Gobert has been, but he's not been anywhere close to this game. Why are we leaving guys open? Why do we have guys underneath of the bucket when their dudes are on the perimeter? Why do we have no one out here doing anything? What is my team doing? Solid defense. They kick it out. Walker, hand in his face. Cassius Kane again. I don't know what the heck that sequence was. We're okay. In the back and digging hands. They want him to pull it out a little bit. Two point game. I actually want to screen. Cam Reddish is going to set the screen. Vaughn's going down. Go Bear. How many fouls? First foul on Rudy Gobert. Hello? Are you? That's what my reaction is. You mean to tell me Rudy Gobert has been playing this entire game? He only has one foul? No shot. Trying to tie it up here. Vaughn again. Hit or miss from the line tonight. This one. More of a miss. Oh, Vaughn. Vaughn. He didn't go out of bounds. Oh, no, we're in trouble. Cash is Kane. Oh my God. The rookie is just unbelievable. Cash is Kane with a 15 and four tonight. Wanted to pull that one with him, but we got to chill. It's too close to the game to be doing anything too wild. Let it dribble down. I mean, do you see what the rook is doing tonight? Is it Giannis? I'm going to put you in a blender. Cam okay, guarding. Okay. I'm playing Matador defense out here right now. Giannis is so fast. You can't really anticipate what he's doing. We had no one in the paint. That one hurt. Ooh, RJ. 
Got it down to Vaughn. We don't want Vaughn to do that at the moment. We want to get him with the screen. Vaughn works best off the pick and roll game. There we go. Top in 21 and 8 for him. Big fellas killing it. All right, more than anything, our team needs to stop. I'm here to let Giannis shoot threes and I'll let him shoot anything easy. Great defense by Cam. Not great rebounding presence. We got Gobert throwing a prayer. We're going to get the rebound, Cam Reddish. A little bit of time left. RJ, this is dangerous. RJ says, I don't care. I'm feeling dangerous. Hits a three. You don't see that very often. All of his 10 points before that had been strictly off points in the paint. He hits a three there. Now our team's battling back. Again, no sign of Jaron Jackson Jr. Remember, he got injured. Or not, not an injury. Sorry, he fouled out in regulation. Giannis is sort of a wild turnaround there. Two-point game. And Cam Reddish has had a really good game tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was wrong. Gobert was ready. Giannis was ready. And then we have guys sagging off in the paint when we have dudes in the corner. Why are they? I have everyone pressing shooters. I've never understood why 2K makes guys sit in the paint on threes there. It's kind of mind blowing. Cam Reddish sag off, man off. We're getting that shot off. This is an unbelievable game. Two point game. Um, we're sagging off and letting Giannis. What the heck just happened? Right, this is big. Giannis can take the lead. He just bodied our entire team with the craziest dunk I've ever seen in my entire life. Need him to miss this one, though. This man has more dribbles to the free throw line than I've ever seen in my entire life. Giannis choked. This is X Factor, though. Vaughn going in. Don't call that a charge. Oh my God, it's a blocking foul. Tell me that counts. That counted? I think he was inside of the restricted area. So Vaughn gets two-pointer to drop Murray can't believe that one of the best defenders in the league is shook Vaughn has an opportunity to make it a three-point game oh my god this is the wildest game we've had in a long time this is huge 45 seconds left no threes can't give up any threes right now oh we've got mismatches not in a good way either Giannis setting the screen. No way. Okay, get it into someone else's hands. Cam Reddish, let him bring it up. This is big. They shot that one to give themselves plenty of time left on the clock. Cam the nice little shimmy. Oh my God. Second time Giannis has went up 17 feet. To block one of our shots. Oh no, he's got. <gasps> oh my God, we're in trouble. 13.3 seconds left. Is anyone I trust right now? It's Vaughn Diggins. Sauce that young man up. Get to the bucket. Oh my God, they called a foul. Six seconds left. Lonnie Walker. Both of his fouls, I think, have come here in the last five minutes of the game. He got one at the very end of regulation, one here in overtime. Vaughn Diggins needs one, but I won two. First one. Mm, that's an L. Vaughn, you got to hit the second one. You cannot choke the second one away. Spurs fans have a bad night. Got one. San Antonio uses their last timeout now. One point lead. Six seconds left. This is big. Deny Giannis the ball right now. They're going to get. Why do we have Trey Jones on Giannis? Oh, we're dead. All the timeout. 1.8 seconds left. Giannis just put us in the spin cycle. <laughs> if only we hit a second free throw. This is big. Trey Jones is inbounding. I like that. Probably shouldn't have went away from whoever Giannis was guarding. Spurs are who we thought they were. A really, really good team. You got to take the L. It felt like a playoff game, and it probably will be at some point if we keep going the way that we're essentially going. Giannis at 32, 12, and 8 with four blocks. A lot of those came in overtime at the end of regulation. Uh, Murray at 18, 4, and 4. Walker at 18, and 6. Kelvin Johnson at 18. Vassell at 16. Gobert at 8, and 13 with two blocks. They were a problem tonight. On right side, Von Diggins started off a little bit slow, but at 27, 5, and 3, three turnovers. But overall, he shot pretty well. The free throws, though, it came back to haunt us. Obi Toppin at 21, 9, and 3. Cam Reddish at 19, 6. Kane had 17, and 4 with two big blocks. He was so good on defense tonight. You got to love what he did in the clutch. RJ with 13, 5, and 4. Dwight Powell at 10, and 5 off the bench. Jaron Jackson. 
Now trouble in a bad shooting night, but he shot really good from the free throw line. We'll give him a pass. He's got work to be due, to be done. This first game was absolutely tough, but we've got another really tough one right now. The Pelicans, the second ranked team in the NBA. They got a couple more wins than us this year, but they are an absolute problem. That inbounds pass, the post was also an absolute problem. Our goal is to come out here and just dominate. The Spurs L was a tough one, but honestly, it's not the end of the world. It's just, he can do better. I know we can, and we should be making those. Cam Reddish, I need you to hit those. Jaron Jackson Jr. You're proud of your stats, but I'm okay with it, as long as you make it. Pelicans off to a high star. Zion again, an absolute problem in the league. We're trying our best, but again, Zion's gonna be Zion. Just like Von Diggins. He's gonna be Von Diggins and miss that one. Pelicans keep it going though right now, and uh, yeah, we're struggling. Not a lot of points for us in the past couple of minutes. Alinari though comes off the bench and is shooting strong. Cutting the lead of seven. Lewis Jr. again. We've had a lot of problems with him, especially in the playoffs. It's been a problem. Great closeout by Trey Jones. That one's going to be off the front of the rim. Cassius Kane's going to pick that one up. We're going to push the tempo a little bit. Great defense by Lewis, man. He's been an absolute stud for them. Not much for Melton to do. He's going to swing it a little bit. Cassius Kane with Ingram. White Palace is the screen. He sags off. We're going to head and shoot that one. Kane can hit those. We just got to get a little bit more consistent with him. Kind of a low scoring game right now for both teams. But again, we got a lot of our starters back in. Von Diggins. Do your thing, young fella. Alexander Walker now has three personal fouls. Look, the more shooting practice we can get at the free throw line with Von Diggins, the better. Because the man's 50 50 every single time, which again, not great. Second time, though, he's money. And that's his first point of the game. Are you kidding me? Moving it up. Von Diggins goes baseline, throws up an absolute prayer. It's off balance, but it goes in. Zion sent screens. Von did a decent job at first, but then the man lost his footing. It was in quicksand. Five point game. Von doing his best. Trying to get some open looks. He gets one around the screen. Rims out again. Not a great night for him at the start. And then he's back late on defense. Alexander Walker's going to pull one. Luckily, it's going to be a miss. Obi Topic is his fourth board of the game. RJ sees him in the corner. Vaughn going to pull up. He checking. It goes in. Cam Reddish playing great defense on Brandon Ingram so far. Ingram, you know, as you get in the playoffs last year, the main reason we were out. Zion had his moments, but it was really Ingram that was the absolute problem for us. RJ trying to push the fast break a little bit. Gets it out of Cam Reddish. Back here to RJ. Trying to close this out. Jackson Jr. trying to stretch a little bit. That was going to be off, though. Zion's open. Why is no one guarding him? Still a five point game, minute and a half left. We're trying right now. It's just a little tough. Well, like this. Melton cut. Oh, we have not shot with Melton. Okay, then. We're shooting 33% in the first half. We're only down seven. I'm not. I'm not worried at all if we just get a normal shooting night going we're perfectly fine whenever you shoot 33 percent though you probably should be getting blown out alan Ari with the face-up game i'll take it no i won't jackson hayes is injured and we still can't body him last couple seconds of the first half we've got a squad that's not really known for their offense in the game i like cassius kane down here young fellas versatile he can get it done. His first points of the game, but we've got to make him more of a scoring option because that dude can do it all. He's taking like an opportunity to do so. So going into halftime, it's a seven-point game. We're shooting an abysmal percentage. Pick it up, do better. We'll be fine in the second half. Pick it up here, pretty late in the third quarter. It's been a late struggle, as the French might say. Not even Cam Reddish is hitting shots right now. I mean, this, I don't know if they, like, change the rims or something, but everything's dropping for them. And nothing's dropping for us. Our team has fallen apart. The San Antonio game really did a number on us. Like, I have not seen us play this bad in a long time. Our team chemistry has been dropping. Our play has been dropping. We can't rebound. This has just been one of those nights where you're like, why are we a team in the NBA? I'm confused. I mean, look at the score. I would, I would hate to see what our shooting percentage is in the night. I just know it's not good. It was his four fouls. That's one of the only bright spots. Trey Jones again, money from the line, four for five. All of his points tonight have been from the free throw line. And then even Trey Jones is playing one in 96%. 4% kicked in and he missed it. 
Zion pulling in the corner. Luckily, that one missed. We're going to throw up a prayer at the buzzer, but even if that drops, it doesn't matter. 63 to 89. We should be regulated to the G League right now. In the fourth quarter, more of the same. 25 point deficit. I mean, our guys are down bad right now. We'll be topping. Yeah. Not really sure what happened, but again, we'll take it. I think the wild part is that Jackson Hayes is actually injured. And he's just been cooking us on defense the whole night. Like, the man's got a bad something. I don't know if it's leg, hand, arm, whatever it is. <laughs> Why is he doing so good? Not even going to humor you guys with you watch some really bad basketball. It's just been bad. We have guys. Oh, we talked to Maeve just died. We have guys that are just getting warped in animations. The jump shots haven't been falling. This is a game that is going to be an L no matter what. So to recap the end of that game, Zion goes for 42, Ingram goes for 27, Hayes went for 14. This was a terrible performance by our squad. If you look at the Kodiak side, 22 for RJ, 16 for Obi Toppin, a double-double there for Jaron Jackson Jr. Vaughn only had 13. There is not a lot to love, especially when Cam Reddish goes four and five. Back to the drawing board for our team, a giant L against the Spurs, a really, really bad one against the New Orleans Pelicans. We have a lot of work to be done before the postseason comes.